Hi guys and welcome back to my vlog. Um, if you're wondering why I'm stood in the bathroom, I thought this would be a better place for me to do my makeup at the moment because it has better lighting and it's a little bit more quiet um, from the street because there's loads of people out on the street today and it's just noise. Um, so yeah, I thought I would do my makeup here. I have a mirror in front of me so it makes life a little bit easier. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to do a symbol today. Um, I was planning on doing a pagan symbol for today's makeup look, um, but I just haven't had a chance to look in the book and find what I want to do. So I'm just going to do a simple look today, um, sort of more kind of like a summer glow look. Um, I haven't put anything yet on my face. Um, all I've done is I've washed it, primed it, um, put serum on it, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm literally going to start from the base and work my way up. Um, so yeah, basically the first thing I'm going to use is the Avanta Pro Collagen mm, Pro Perfect Collagen Primer. Um, I got this, I think, a couple of months ago, probably about a year ago, um, and it's I've never actually used it. Um, so it's kind of one of those things that has just sat in my makeup collection since having got it from a uh, I think it was glossy box. It might have been a look fantastic box. Um, and it's just literally just sat in my makeup collection. So I thought I'd pull it out, see what it's like. Um, so yeah. It smells fine. <laughs> it doesn't actually have a smell, so yeah. This is literally like a normal primer, um, but it does seem very, almost like a serum, which is a little bit interesting. Personally, I prefer my primers to be a little bit more gel-like um, because I have quite oily skin um, and it's kind of weird. It's dry in patches, oily in other patches and as you can probably tell, it has acne. So finding something that is good for my skin is kind of a nightmare. Um, but yeah, this feels almost more on the oily side. It does feel... Like I say, it does feel almost like a serum rather than a primer. Um, doesn't have a smell, which is a good thing. Um, yeah. It does seem to seep into the skin quite nicely. So yeah, that is the primer done. Um, obviously I'll be using my normal foundation, which is the Revolution Fast Base Ease Foundation Stick in the shade F4. Um, this is kind of my go-to foundation. It's the only one that really does my, my skin shade. Um, so yeah. about pausing then I just thought I'd pause just to get the foundation properly on and um, the next part of my makeup routine is this concealer now I'm going to be using a different concealer um, this is the gosh concealer high coverage uh, I don't actually know what shade it is it doesn't say what shade it is um, but basically that is the shade I do think this is going to be maybe a little bit yellow for my skin um, but we shall see. I'm not going to be using very much of this. I literally just want to hide these black eye black lines under my eyes. So yeah, that's pretty much all I'm using it for. Um, this, I bought it a little while ago. Again, um, I haven't been on a massive makeup buying thing. Um, I've literally just gone through what I have. And I'm testing what I have seeing if it's, you know, still fine. Um, I have tested it before doing this video and, you know, it does seem fine. 
So literally, I'm just going to dab a little bit on the back of my hand. Oh, it does have the colour. Um, it is Ivory 02. Um, I, if I remember rightly, I bought this concealer for doing cut creases. Um, but yeah, it basically... I literally just want it to do that. Hide the massive black under eye patches. And I will say it does seem on the yellow side for my skin, um, but that's okay. You know, I can work with that. Um, I can blend it into the foundation, which is what I'm doing. So that is the concealer. I'm just gonna blend that in a bit more. So yeah, that is the concealer. I'm just gonna wipe the excess off the back of my hand. There we go. I will say that concealer is probably not one that I will buy again um, in the near future. It's probably one that will probably end up in the bin um, because it is a shade that is just a little bit too yellow for my skin um, and as you can probably tell I've had to really blend it in. Um, so yeah I mean it has kind of brightened that area up. It hasn't got rid of the dark under eye but you know I have dark under eyes. It's normal for me. So next I'm going to be using um, some translucent powder just underneath. Um, this is just to set everything down, make life easier for me. Um, the translucent powder I'm using is my standard Revolution um, translucent baking powder um, and obviously it will lighten this area up. as well, which again makes my life easier. But it will set almost like a translucent shade. So it gives that a few minutes and I'll dust it off. Um, next thing I'm going to do is my contouring. Um, for this I'm actually going to be using the Sleek Face Form Contour and Blusher Palette. Um, this is in the Fair 372 palette. Uh, this is a palette that, again, I don't really go to very often. Um, it's not really my go-to contour palette. My hair at the moment is going everywhere. It's so in one of those moods today. There we go. That will do for what I want. So obviously I'm waiting for that to just kind of still blend out. 
Um, what I'm going to move on to is just dusting the baking powder off because I don't want it to stay on too long. Um, you know, it's one of those kind of put it on, wait a couple of minutes, take it off again. Because I find that if I leave it on too long, it goes too light and then it just doesn't work for me. And now for eyes. Um, the eyes today are going to be a little bit weird. As I said, I want to create kind of a more summer glow type look. Um, you know, we are in summer, so a nice summer glow look would make a change. I'm basically recreating a look that I did earlier this week, um, which was kind of more um, sort of goldeny in colour shade. Um, but I'm going to kind of not have it as light around here. I want it a little bit more um, darker. So I'm just going to use the Pop Beauty Bright, Bright Up Your Life Eyeshadow Trio Palette. And this is the Peach Parfait. Um, and as you can see, it is three really nice shades. Um, I'm going to be using the middle shade for what... I want. I'm just going to use this as my base colour. I'm sorry if I'm quiet while I'm doing this. It's obviously eyeshadow, so I'm kind of usually quiet when I'm working on my eyeshadow. Just to try and even it out and make sure that it's about equal on sides. So that is the base eyeshadow done. Um, I would, you know, use all of these, but I'm going to be using something different just to brighten up the eye a little bit. Um, and I'm basically going to be using the Bella Perry Cosmetics Liquid Shadow Eye Cream, and this is in the shade Venus. Um, I, again, this was, I think, in a Christmas box. Um, I think it was last year. Um, and, you know, I, I've used it a couple of times. Um, it's one of those that I kind of go to quite a bit, um, but I don't use it as often as I'd like, so I'm using it today. I'm just going to use it very carefully on the actual eyelid, just to brighten the eyelid up. what I need is a closer mirror. There we go. Usually I don't really like using uh, cream eyeshadows because I always find them quite clunky um, and heavy because um, my eyes tend to kind of hood over my eyelid. Um, so I find they end up like ending up up here if I use a liquid. But this one I found is pretty good. It stays a little bit liquidy, um, but it doesn't kind of smudge. That's the word I'm looking for, smudge.
go. So that is the main of the eye done. Um, I'm probably going to add a little bit extra um, like powder at the top so it just kind of stays in place. Um, so I'm just going to do that now. There we go. And now for eyebrows. I don't usually like doing my eyebrows, but I kind of went a bit manic with them the other day when I was plucking out some hairs. So I'm going to be using the Sleek Eyebrow Stylus. And this, I believe, is in a mid-brown shade. No, it's in dark 718 shade. And it comes with a little eyebrow brush. And obviously, the actual shade. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause and come back because this is one job that I hate doing on camera. So that is my brows done and yes they do look really dark um, but I usually have my hair down anyway and you know my my eyebrows aren't thin pathetic things um, even when I pluck them to death it's like caterpillars basically. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to use um, the Max Factor Coal Pencil um, to do my waterline and then it will be mascara. So that is my eyeliner done. I'm not going to do a liquid liner over the top um, because I find with liquid liner and cream mascara, uh, cream eyeshadows, they end up going very clumpy. And for me, it just doesn't work for what I want. So yeah, I'm going to avoid doing a back, bat wing look. I'm just going to do my mascara and I am using the Avon Super Drama Mascara. Um, this is kind of like again, one of my go-to mascaras at the moment.
so that is my eyelashes done um next i'm going to use blusher and highlighter and again i'm going to be using the blusher from the sleek, sleek face form contour and blush set um the blush is kind of quite pink um but for this look it will do for what i want One of the brushes has disappeared. Right. And for highlighter, I'm going to be using the highlighter from this palette as well. Um, this is kind of a soft, neutral shade of highlighter. It's not as sparkly as I would normally go for, but it does a job. So that is the highlighter and blush done. It kind of seems very um, pale. Um, in the palette, it looks really bright. I have got brighter blushes, um, but this will do for what I'm looking for today. Um, for lips, I'm gonna be using a uh, colorless lip liner and then the Model Co Lip Cream Matte, and this is in the shade Peachy Nude. Uh, this is, again, one of those kind of colours that I go to quite a bit. i use the smaller mirror for this, so I can see what I'm doing. So that is the lip liner done, and then for lip cream. So as you can see, it is a very peachy kind of shade. It's almost a very neutral shade. So that is the look for today, a very natural kind of glow look. Um, so yeah, if you've liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give us a thumbs up for this video. Um, next week will be an art video um, and hopefully when I do a makeup look again, I will remember to get a symbol ready. Um, so yeah, uh, don't forget to check out my social media pages, the links of which will be in the description and all the products that I have used for this look will also be in the description um so yeah see you all soon bye